Some dogs just love to follow their owners no matter where they go. You're heading to the kitchen to get a drink, they're right behind you. Going to your bedroom to put something away, there they are. You try to go to the bathroom, they're running full speed at you to make sure they don't miss you, because God forbid you poop in peace. So today we're gonna talk about why dogs love to follow their owners around so much, and kind of how these Velcro dogs develop, and how to know if it's okay behavior that you should allow, or is it something you should actually be working on not allowing your dog to do. Now, depending on what kind of breed of dog you have, some breeds actually have a genetic predisposition to be more likely to follow humans around. Border Collie, Shepherds, and Cattle Dog are all breeds of dogs that are likely to be kind of, we'll call them Velcro dogs, where they're more likely than other breeds to want to be around you. I think it's probably something related to the fact of what these dogs were bred to do, right? They're bred to be chasing cattle, chasing whatever the livestock is, and kind of have that in them of wanting to follow. So it comes out on us humans. Working dogs like Doberman Pinschers, German Shepherds, Rottweilers, again, any kind of those protective breeds, these are also breeds that are likely to kind of be stuck to you. And again, it goes back to what they are bred to do. They were bred to protect. I think, again, that sense of protectiveness and wanting to keep their owner safe makes them more likely to kind of stick by your side. Lastly, dogs like Labradors or Golden Retrievers. And again, what were they bred to do? They were bred to retrieve, they were bred to bring things back to us. And there's probably some part of that then that carries over to them wanting to stick with us humans. Now, just because those breeds have a tendency to be more of kind of Velcro dogs, it doesn't mean that's gonna be 100% the case. It all comes down to the individual dog, how they were trained and how they were socialized. Dogs form such strong bonds to us humans. And usually when you have a dog that lives with multiple people, they'll pick one person that's especially their favorite. Naturally then, when the dog has a favorite person, they're gonna be following that person around a lot. Now, most dog owners unintentionally train the dog to follow them everywhere they go. One of the most common ways that dog owners just normalize the behavior of the dog following them is they reinforce it without realizing it. Every time you go walking and the dog follows you, we start talking to the dog. And remember, talking is attention. Attention is reinforcement. So even though the dog is following you and you're going, oh my God, God, why are you following me? Stop, why are you always following me? The dog doesn't hear that. The dog hears, oh, my owner's talking to me. They must want me to keep coming with them. And then we reinforce his behavior all the time. Every time we get up, the dog follows us. Every time the dog follows us, we start talking to the dog. And the dog just starts to learn that, oh, these humans must want me to follow them because every time I do, they give me attention. It just becomes routine to the dog. They don't even think about it. They just know, oh, humans is leaving time to follow now if you got your dog or puppy when they were really young especially if it was prior to eight weeks there is a high chance that dog is imprinted on you as the primary caregiver when a dog sees you as the primary caregiver that means they're going to be following you everywhere you go and a dog that does this it's not a bad thing if you enjoy your dog following you everywhere there's no problem with that when i had a dog i loved it i had a rottweiler so again they had that inclination to want to follow want to protect Anytime I would get up, he would be right behind me making sure everything was okay. So it's really up to every individual dog owner, whether you want to encourage this behavior or if you want to try to reduce it. For a dog to be happy, they need social interaction and they need mental stimulation. And oftentimes dogs will follow us around because they're trying to get our attention. When dogs are bored or don't have a lot going on, oftentimes they'll be following us around to kind of see, hey, what's going on with you? You got anything more exciting going on here? If your dog's following you around excessively, make sure you've given them other options and other things to do. One of the best things are puzzle toys, toys stuffed with food in them. And we give this to the dog and now it's mental stimulation, it's physical exercise, the dog has to pick up the toy, throw it around, chase it. Providing mental stimulation like that and giving the dog other things to engage with besides just, you know, following you around, it's a really good way to keep your dog happy and healthy. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying this video, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Now, sometimes dogs can follow us around for bad reasons. And one of those bad reasons is that they're feeling sick or injured. Again, a dog that's strongly bonded to you, they know that you're their caregiver. So they're looking to you for help. So if your dog is injured, maybe they stepped on something or maybe there's something actually internally going on, something wrong with their stomach, who knows, whatever it is, the dog's not feeling well. They could be following you to kind of try to say, hey, I need some help. This is where context is really important. Looking for other signs that kind of helps us know, hey, maybe the dog's following us around because they're not feeling great. If you notice the dog's a little bit more lethargic, not as responsive, if their appetite's gone down especially, and then all of a sudden they start following you around, 
could be they're not feeling so great and it might be time to go to the vet. Now of all places that dogs follow us, why is it they always want to come in the bathroom? What is it about that bathroom that's so exciting to dogs? Well, there's all sorts of reasons why dogs might find the bathroom so exciting. I know this is going to seem gross to us humans, but they're curious about the smells. There's all sorts of smells in bathrooms that come from all sorts of places, and even though it's gross to us humans, to dogs, new smells are very exciting. If you have a dog that really enjoys getting baths and you bathe your dog in the bathroom, they could be that every time you're heading to the bathroom, the dog thinks, oh, maybe it's bath time. I wonder if I'm getting in a bath. So they want to come with you. If you have one of those protective breeds of dogs, then oftentimes, again, just like they're following you throughout the house, they want to follow you into this room, make sure you're going to be okay. And one of the most common reasons, especially for people with puppies, is we've actually trained the dog to come with us every time we go to the bathroom. We couldn't leave the puppy alone on their own and we didn't want to put him in the crate or in the pen. So every time we went to the bathroom, we brought him in there with us. And by doing that, we've reinforced that, hey, every time I go into this room, you better come with me. Now it's really important that we recognize whether or not this kind of clingy behavior is okay and acceptable or has it crossed the line to where it's actually making the dog uncomfortable. And they're not just following you because they love you, but they're following you because they're so uncomfortable without you. So first I want you to think about is this a new behavior or is this something the dog has always done? Any kind of new behaviors that just pop out of nowhere, out of the blue, we always want to rule out, hey, is there a medical reason that the dog is doing this? Because if there is, no amount of training is going to fix it. We have to address that medical issue at the veterinarian. If we know for a fact there's no medical issue, then we got to think about, okay, is the dog following this then because they're anxious, afraid, or stressed of something else. For a dog that just follows us humans around because they love us, there is nothing wrong with that. If you're okay with letting your dog follow you around, by all means, don't stop up. Let them follow you everywhere you go. There is nothing bad about that. However, if the dog is following us because they're so afraid to be alone, that's where we've got to give them a little bit of help. Now, in order to identify this, we have to look at other signs. And one of the biggest things is how does the dog behave when they're actually not able to come with you? If you leave your dog in another room or if you go out, for example, and leave your dog alone at the house and you come back and they have destructive behaviors, they have excessive barking while you're gone, they are urinating or pooping in the house. Those are all signs that, okay, the dog may be a little bit anxious and have some separation anxiety when you're not there. If your dog does have separation anxiety, then the good news is there's a lot of stuff we can do. And I actually have a full video on everything to do step-by-step step, how to cure dogs with separation anxiety. So overall, dogs following as humans around, generally it's not a cause for concern. It kind of is a random behavior, yeah, it comes out of the blue. We always want to make sure we rule out is there a medical issue. And as long as there's not, then it's just a sign that your dog loves you.